Hey guys, welcome back to my channel, Love Trans World. Happy New Year. Today is January 1st, 2021, guys. And the time is now 1.45 p.m. Yeah, so I'm doing a three-day trip. Um, yeah, today's day one of three. I finish on, um, since Friday, Saturday, I feel on Sunday. Yeah, and then I have two days off, and then I go back, and then four-day trip. Then I'm off a couple days, and then a five-day trip. So, yeah. And then I have vacation because my birthday is the end of the month, and I would want to go somewhere, but the way I'm, I'm feeling right now, I don't even feel like going anymore, but I'm going to have to go because my friends already bought their ticket, so yeah i'm just not feeling it but anyways today's day one of three um i dead head to detroit and then i have a sit for three hours and then i go to um where do i go i don't think i've ever been here before um but it's a short flight yeah so and I actually have a no work layover too on Saturday. Yeah, so day one of three and let's get this trip started. By the way, I hope that you had a great New Year's Eve with your family that you brought it in. And I hope that this year brings a lot of prosperity and I hope that God got and protect us this year in 2021. And I hope that it's a better year than um, last year. So let's see what 2021 has to offer to us. Do you guys think it's weird how 2020 just like went by so quick? Like in the blink of an eye. But anyways, uh, I will see you guys when I'm going on my deadhead to Detroit. Hey guys, so I just got on the aircraft and So we're going to we Queen's Bay, as we're saying. The captain is turning. So we're, um, oh my God. So the person who I'm, it's a three day trip, as I said, but the person who I'm working with, she says she leaves tomorrow. It's only like a turn for her, overnight for her. And that's it, lucky. I wish I was going home, but, um, and then I go home sunday evening to newark and then i deadhead a limo to jfk hopefully i'm the only one in the limo it shows my name only so that i can actually um so that i actually ask the limo to take me home so i'm gonna clean up everything now and then So guys, I finished it my cleaning, my Lysol, and um, I see that I have another layover in um, the place where I got the Lysol spray. So hopefully they have Lysol again at that Target. And yeah, that's gonna be my five day trip though. Um, so I'm finished cleaning and um, waiting for the passengers to come on. It's only 16 passengers on this flight actually only 16 so that's not bad and it's a short flight it's only 287 miles so it's probably like 55 minutes flight not sure depending on weather so finished my cleaning i have my have my garbage bag for when tax come on and um i'm collecting the garbage already wiped out my jump seat and everything so did all my checks and ready to go hey guys so i'm currently in my hotel room um in greens bay i've never been here before um so this is my room 
and what I usually do is look around to see if everything is okay in the room and yeah um, let's see what that happened so this is it Yeah, so as I said, what I usually do is look around to see if everything is okay on the bed and um, everything. We actually have a microwave and a fridge in the room. I'm glad about that. Um, so I'm going to um, put my foods in the fridge and do my check and then take a shower good morning everyone good morning it is now 6 33 a.m i have a 6 55 um van time currently getting ready for work um got my hair combed and everything got my uniform on anyways um today we go from where do we go we're in greens greens bay and then we go to Minneapolis. And then from many, we have a three hour sit in Minneapolis. I'm kind of glad for this sit because I, how do I fix this properly? Hold on, let me turn the music off. All right, I can't find anywhere to put you guys, but I'm glad I have a sit because I could not sleep last night, guys. I tossed, turned, tossed, turned. Um, when I look at the time, it was three something, then it was four something, and then, um, as soon as I got cozy to go to sleep, the alarm went off. So, thank God this is a short flight. It is only 251 miles, so it's a quick flight. So it's probably like 40 minutes, 45 minutes, depending on the weather and everything, um, and the wind, um, yeah, so it's a quick flight, and then we get there, and then I'm going to go to the crew room and try and see if I could get take a nap or something, but I could not sleep last night for anything. <sighs> I don't know, guys. I don't know, but... Um, tonight, I overnight in Newark at, like, for something today. I wanted to try and see, go to the, um, what is it called? They have an outlet there, and I, w I always wanted to try it out, but I don't know. We'll see how I feel when I get into Newark tonight. And then, yeah, tomorrow's go-home day. Um, quick three-day trip. Lots of sit in between. All of my trips this month have a lot of sits in between. Um, I guess because there's less flying, so... There's not that much flying going out, so they have a sit to get the other flights. Anyways, I see you guys maybe when I got on the aircraft. I'm working in the front today. Um, yeah, I see you guys in a few. This is just this is just one off the crew rooms, but I like coming to this one because there's not that much people that come down here. We have, an, we have another one that's upstairs and it's better, but down here is more quiet. But I'm gonna eat something and I see you guys in a few. Hey guys, so I just got. Let me see. I think this is good lighting. I just got into my hotel room. I said I was gonna go to um. The outlet today because the outlet is like right across the street but it's now it's 4 55 and <sighs> although the it looks promising i don't feel like i'm gonna go i'm just gonna chillax for the rest of the evening and shower i just feel my energy is just really down 
and I just want to shower, relax, and um, enjoy the rest of the evening. I guess I'll just come back another time. Um, let me give you guys a quick room tour of this hotel. One one thing I don't like though, I hate when I come to a hotel and the room smells like cigarette. Like I'm pretty sure they say no smoking and you still smoke. Anyways, so let's get into it. <laughs> So I have a lot of pre-recorded video um, that you guys are going to see because you know, I do that because, you know, things could happen and um, I'm not able to go to work or do anything. So I normally, I started pre-recording videos so that um, I could, when I record, it's easy for me to upload every Sunday and I really don't want to miss a beat. My channel have been doing so good so far with subscribers. Um, I really wanted to make it to 1K subscribers by December, but it's now January 2nd and I'm at 667 subscribers now. Maybe when this video is released, it'll be more and I'll be grateful. So. On the road to 700 subscribers um, I'm really trying to hit 1k subscribers hopefully with the new content with me traveling for my birthday the content will be it's gonna be I'm hoping it's gonna be good content for you guys and hopefully I could travel let's see cuz we're supposed to have our new president to come in on the 20th and I don't know what his plans for the country so Hopefully I could still travel for my birthday, but um, stay tuned for that if I do travel. And um, as I said, it's going to be a lot of pre-recorded video, so the dates will not match up to what you're seeing as I used to do before. Um, yeah, so, and plus my schedule is not the same anymore. As I said, um, my seniority list on in JFK is is down right now because they had to displace some people to other bases because of the pandemic so my seniority list right now is sucks like you have people that's been here for over three years that's back on reserve in JFK and um, it's not looking too good especially with my schedule because I'm not holding which doesn't make any sense to me because even when I was on reserve, I used to get my Sunday Mondays, but I'm not holding it anymore. So, and I'm getting five day trips and stuff like that. And it just sucks, but, um, I'm glad I have a job. Um, so I try to do pre-record cause sometimes I'm going to be working on Sundays and I need my videos to be out at 4 p.m. on Sundays and I need you guys to stay tuned and watch so yeah so um I see you guys in the morning and I hope that you're having a very good evening so far and don't forget to comment down below guys and um I do respond back to you guys let me know what's your new year's what you have plans for your new year's like do you have anything that you want to accomplish this year man i made a vision board and everything last year and i just i don't know guys i just feel unaccomplished because i didn't thinking about my board right now i didn't accomplish i didn't really accomplish anything on that board i tried but uh i don't know last year was a setback and so going into this year, I didn't make any plans or anything. Usually by the end of each year, even when things aren't going good, I usually um, accomplish something. I mean, the only thing that I've accomplished is I've been on YouTube and I've been 
keeping up with my Sundays at 4 p.m. I've been consistent, so that's an accomplishment. And when I start back prior, when I when when I started back YouTube, because I I could have been so much bigger, guys, but you know, inconsistent. But I would have I would have been. I would have more than likely been over 1k right now but um right now i'm at 600 subbies and when i started back youtube i think i was like three something so that's a big big accomplishment to me in my books and that's just one thing but i had so many things like on there on my vision board that i wanted to accomplish and going into this year i just i didn't plan anything I'm just going with the flow honestly I usually never make vision board but because like vision board and stuff was like a big thing last year and manifestation and I mean even though manifesting things does work but I don't know but for me nothing like I just felt I just feel so unaccomplished you know, and hopefully this year I could accomplish something big. Um, yeah, hopefully I could accomplish something big this year. I'm going to work towards it. And I have a business. I had a business called Love Charms where I sell um, statement piece bag, but things were extremely slow. And I had to take down my website because Shopify was charging me. Forty dollars a month, and I was losing profit trying to keep up with that um website. So, oh my God, you guys see this? The hives. I need to go take my pill. But yeah, I just I don't know. I just feel like just reflecting. I just feel like I don't want to say a failure, but I just that's how I feel. You know, um, I'm going to try and see what this year brings. I'm going to try and go harder. Um, I really don't want to have only one stream of income because I'm just looking at the world right now and everything is just so iffy. And my goal is to move back to Jamaica. And I want to do that. I really want to do that. So... I and this stream of income is not gonna help me because let's face it, the money is okay, you know. And the thing is, when I work, when I do more hours with my company, right? Because they do offer trips and stuff. When I do, um, when I do pickup trips or anything. I remember when I just started, I used to push and I used to do like 100 hours, stuff like that. And then when I look at my check and see how many taxes come out of my check, I'm just like, yo, I'm working crazy for nothing, you know? And I feel so discouraged. Like, I remember I had a plan and everything. And when I saw my check, I'm like, yo, this just doesn't even make any sense. So... I really need to find another stream of income because this one stream isn't working out for me, guys. It's not working out for me. So I need to find something on the side to do. And I'm going to continue to work on it. And hopefully I could get it right this year, despite what's going on. I'm really curious to see how this year is going to turn out. I hope it's a good year. And yeah anyways enough chit chatting i see you guys in the morning when i'm ready to go to work day three of three i see you guys good morning guys so i'm currently getting ready it's day three of three and i'm ready to go home guys okay so last night i knocked out about like seven something so, because I took my allergy pills, because I was breaking out, and I knocked out at like seven something. And then, old fashioned me, you know, I gotta wake up every time to look at the time to see. <laughs> I don't know. I have an alarm set, but it's just like I have to wake up to check to see if everything is like, 
Am I good? I still have more time to sleep. That was me. But I feel a little rested. Um, as I said, these pills do make me sleepy. So, because I was taking the Allegra and it wasn't working for me. So, I had to go back to desert it. Um, I need to go to do blood work on... Because the, the Dermo gave me papers to go do blood work to check out to see what is it that I'm allergic to. Um, so I need to go do blood work. So um, I'm getting ready. Uh, that's that. I'm going to hurry and get ready because they have free breakfast here. And I want to grab something before I go. So today I go from Newark to Minneapolis. That's probably going to be a 2 hour and 40 minute flight to get down there. It was 2.07 to get here. And it's probably 240 because it's blocked at 304, I think. 304, I think. So it's probably like 250, 250 minutes. I don't know. And then have like a three hour sit in Minneapolis again. And then uh, we go back to, um, we come back here in Newark. And then we take a limo. We deadhead to um, New York, but I see that I'm the only one on the deadhead. So I'm just wondering if I'm the, I hope it stays that way so that I could get dropped home <laughs> instead of going to the airport. Anyways, let me go put my uniform on. It's day three or three and let's get this day started. Alrighty. Good morning and welcome aboard. Well, I'm stuck for right here, <laughs> but all ready to go. I'm gonna zip up my bag and get ready to go downstairs real quick and try and put, get some breakfast. Actually, and now it's like six something. So we have a 6.30 van today, 6.45 report time. And yeah, I feel good today. I feel so much better than yesterday. My energy was down. Probably because I was tired and wasn't getting any sleep. I don't know. Sometimes it's just like it's hard for me to sleep on these trips. It's so hard. I'm looking at this smoke detector and it has like a, you know, those um, shower caps on it. Why? Why is there a shower cap on here? What is going on? So listen to a little gospel before I go. Zen, my soul. Never would have made it. <laughs> All right, let me turn it off before I get copyright. Anyways, um, it is now 6.11 and I'm gonna go downstairs. And yeah. Gonna do my cleaning and then, uh, I wish there was somewhere to put you guys so I could show you how I clean and stuff. Got this out, gonna put my gloves on. I'm trying to get my gloves. Hello. <laughs> She's like, hi. Hey guys, so I'm in um, Newark and I'm in the limo to go to JFK. Um, we're still waiting for one more passenger, one more um, flight attendant to come. I guess they're coming in on a later flight. Here. Anyways guys, I'm going to close out the vlog. Um, thank you guys so, so much for watching. I love you guys so much for watching. And I hope that you're having a good evening so far. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Tell a friend to tell a friend. And I'll see you guys next time. Next Sunday at 4 p.m. Same time, same channel. Tell a friend to tell a friend. And make sure you guys turn on that post notification so that you, you could be notified when I post on my channel so you guys could stay up to date with my content. Okay? I love you guys. And I'll see you guys next Sunday at 4 p.m.